side. We'll keep an eye on that one again, though it does not look like it's going to pass. If it does fail, that would mean the district would have to delay replacing several aging schools. That includes Adams Elementary School on the South Hill. Creme News' Nathan Hyun is live there right now. He spoke with school staff to get their reaction to the lack of voter support for the bond. Nathan? Mark Whitney, good evening. Well, I'm here at Adams Elementary, which is more than 100 years old. And today, bricks are coming loose like this one right here, and staircases are eroding like this one right in front of the school. The dream of a new school building. So we actually have our new school designed and ready to go. May have to wait a little longer. A disappointing reality for Adams Elementary Principal Beth Nye. Bond results came in. Obviously, that was um, shocking, not quite what we wanted, and um, disappointing. Adams Elementary is the oldest school on Spokane South Hill. Spokane Public Schools' $200 million bond would replace the entire school this summer. We're going to have to continue to um, uh, educate our children in this current building, and this is a building that has some pretty high needs. With the bond, the district plans to demolish the current school building and build a new one by early 2026. We have blind corners just with old stairwells, as well as... Um, brick that's falling. Not only the bricks crumbling, the building doesn't have an elevator, which doesn't make it ADA compliant. With the bond failing, I do feel a lot of disappointment, um, especially here at Adams. Other staff like Patty Martel Denny reflect similar sentiments. Our school is very old and in need of a lot of maintenance. Um, I was just outside. This is part of our portable. Based on initial election results, this could be the first time in 50 years that voters did not approve an SPS bond. Very hopeful that it would. Um, a little bit surprised that it didn't. One silver lining, the passing of the levy, just as important. Very thankful that the levy passed. That uh, helps ensure that I keep my job and we have important things for our students. If the bond passes, Madison Elementary will also be replaced. Stand by. So the school district says that the school board will consider other options. The board says that it could decide when and how to try the bond again at its meeting next Wednesday, but um, that is not a guarantee, and April is the earliest the bond could run on the ballot. Live in Spokane, Nathan Hyun, Crime 2 News.